What's up, friends? Okay, so, <laughs> as promised, um, we are fresh, fresh face, yes. Nothing on my face. If you wanna ask me questions, I can answer right here um, tonight. So we're doing, I'm Janelle, welcome, what's up to my YouTube channel. I took a shower, um, I, have my natural, natural curly hair. And woo, we need to bring this light down a little. Um, and we're gonna do, let's see, how do we bring this light down? Let's check it out. Maybe that's a little better? Yeah, that's a little better. So right now I just have like a little bit of oil soaking into my skin. Um, any like oil that you like for your face is fine. What's up? So tonight I'm gonna to be wearing first this blue costume and it has like definitely gold embellishment for sure. But my second costume is all silver. So I have two shows and it's tricky when you have multiple costumes, like what color do you choose? And I'm gonna go with kind of like a blue, silver, smoky situation today, tonight. So these are up for some inspo. And I'm gonna show you what I picked for a little bit of inspiration. So let's see. So this is the eye that I've picked for a little bit of inspiration, yeah? So this is what we're gonna try to, try to go for. <laughs> and see what happens. So, how is everybody? Hi, Dominique. <laughs> I'm just happy you're here. I, it's like whatever happens at this point. Y'all, I've never done my makeup in front of anybody. I contour very unconventionally. I do things not in the right order, if there is a right order. My mother is like makeup Wonder Woman and I, she probably will be embarrassed when she sees this if I didn't learn enough from her. But that's okay, right? Besides the point. So let's get started, yeah? So I like to do my lashes, all right? And I have like 27 different mascaras in front of me right now. I'm just gonna pick up my Revlon one for the moment and we're gonna click it to length and definition. Yes, um, length and drama. Let's go length and drama. So let's see. I was trying to play you guys some music, but who knows what is actually playing on my computer right now. Okay, knowing me, I'll end up playing some song that's like blocked worldwide. So I'm gonna go <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, so if you wanna translate, Go for it, and I will um, make sure I respond. <laughs> Let's see. So we're just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I like to do a first coat, and then I like to clean it, clean the area up. Cool. So how's everybody's day been? Like, what do I talk to you guys about? What do you want to know? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have such exciting news in my family. My little sister just got engaged. Erica, I love you. I'm so happy for you. That's so exciting, right? Engagements are so fun, which means weddings, which means dancing and music and all that fun stuff. Okay. So we're gonna get this mascara going. And I like to go low to high. All right, I know a lot of some of my friends who don't really wear mascara, they just do the lashes. Usually I don't like to wear lashes, but today we're gonna do lashes just because it's a trip watching me put them on. Um, and I'm wearing some pretty costumes. I'm getting to dance with a beautiful band tonight. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it up. All right, let's see. The lady is speaking Portuguese, not Spanish. Oh, apologies, Portuguese. She said you're beautiful. Thank you so much for translating, that's so nice. That's so nice, forgive me for saying it was Espanol. 
Okay. I appreciate you who translated her Portuguese for me. That's so kind of you. All right. So I've never done this live. And I'm going to try to not waste your time and go crazy forever long. But I'm just going to do my thing and do what I do. So, so far, just a little bit of lash. All right? Nothing crazy. Nothing major. Q-tips are my baby. Yes, I lick them. <laughs> I don't know what you do with your Q-tips, but I just brush my teeth, so I don't have a problem licking my Q-tip to go around. Now I think about it, it's kind of gross, but it is what it is, right? All right. I mentioned that this would be very candid. So, all right, just a tiny bit of that going on and then I want to make sure my under eye is light around my lip and between my brow. I've definitely been breaking out a little bit lately. This is pretty light. Um, this is pretty light. Yeah. I've been breaking out. I think with the masks like, you know, around my chin, wearing, wearing the Corona masks. This one's a little darker. Um, a friend just gave it to me, so let's use it today. <laughs> Again, contouring, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just what I do. So here we go, yeah? All right, so I dab, 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 and I love, love this brush. Um, Mom bought me this brush. It's getting to the point where it's old. Do you know when your brushes start to like, the little hairs start to come? Yeah, that's no good. We got to get a new one. but. For now, this is great. Um, let's see, does it say anything on it? I wish I could share with you, but I have no idea. Anyway, it's a foundation brush that's really, really soft. I love this. And I'm just gonna go in and like dab, 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 slash like move it around a little. Um, and then we're gonna leave my face alone for a while. I like to let my lotions and my oil soak in. I like to let this set a little. And I like to do my eyes, so I end up actually having to wipe there after I do my shadow because some shadow is going to fall onto your face and you don't want to cake that underneath your makeup. Like you want to get rid of that. So we might have to add more of this later, but that's okay. For now, let's just cover some stuff up a little. So I'm a little more pleasant to look at. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yaminha. Is that how you say your name? Yamin. Yamina, 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 thank you, Yamina. So feel free to ask me stuff like, what do people talk about when they're doing their makeup? I can't give you like expert tips because I'm definitely a professional belly dancer. I'm not your professional makeup artist, right? So we're looking pretty shiny still, pretty bright. Okay, so I just dabbed all that stuff in nice and clean 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 and then let's keep let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going hmm. you should play music in the background because if i play music it's probably not going to work very well see now we have commercials all right so let's just skip to a random step, which I'll probably do again later. So right here, perfect presentation the second time. <laughs> I love to put a highlighter, Woo, right there, you see that? So fun. I'm using just like a really soft, like shimmer, glitter. Um, yeah, who knows what brand this is, Juvia. I've never even heard of it, to be honest. I think something my mom gave me from some random box, but look at that glisten, and then right on the little bone of the shoulder, we'll put a little there, and we'll put a little there. And I'll definitely put more on like my tummy and stuff like that when I perform. Okay, let's wipe these hands off so I don't cover my face in glitter. There's my little towel. Um, perfect, how long have you been dancing? How did you find it? So I am, I'm Palestinian. I've been, I've been belly dancing since I was 
probably four years old, my teacher um, performed in Egypt and she taught me from a very early age. I'm realizing I can't think and speak and do my makeup at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, what's, what do I do next? Let's tackle these eyes, okay? Let's get into a little bit of eyeliner and get myself a, um, a line to work with. So I'm gonna first start with my brush, really thin brush, and then my Bobby, um, what is this? You guys, I like hate makeup. Bobby Brown, yeah? So it's just a black ink. I'm gonna dip it in. So I was four years old when I started, and I mean, honestly, earlier than that, my, my city, my grandmother would sing to me in Arabic, and she taught me, would teach me how to do my hands, and that's kind of, I fell in love with movement. And my teacher, Aziza Birmingham, she's still in Alabama, so if you live in Alabama, look her up. She still teaches. Um, she's fantastic. She's absolutely stunning. She taught me classic oriental ragsharki. And then my other dance training led me to start doing fusion and, you know, all these other styles until I finally realized, you know, what I was doing. And I just follow my line. So follow your eye, right? Not my eye. Our eyes are definitely different. So when you're doing your liner and you want that like line, go from the bottom halfway only and follow straight up, 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 up to find your, your point for your eye. We'll be doing more eyeliner once I get some lashes on and stuff. I'm one of those people that when I do my makeup, I have to be really close. So I don't know how great I'm gonna do this far from the mirror. Anyway, my teacher in Alabama saw me in church. <laughs> I'm a, I couldn't sit still in church and I loved the music and I would just move and move and move. So she started teaching me private lessons from a very young age. I'm very fortunate to learn from her. She was able to dance for some amazing people in Egypt growing up. And she just belly danced. That was, and she started when she was a little bit older. She wasn't super young. Um, so my mom made me my first costumes. They're handmade. I still have them. I plan to pass those down. Um, inshallah, one day when I have my own baby. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm blessed with a girl and can make her a little dancer at some point. But, and currently I study with. Uh, Natalie and online with Jelena and a bunch of many, many dancers. Yeah, you can always, I can learn from everybody. Everyone has their, their captivating moments and the things that you really want to learn from them. So it's, yes, I teach, but I will forever be a student so that I can keep learning and sharing. Okay, these look totally different. I am like loving this one. I don't know, this lighting is. I know lighting is everything. This lighting isn't impeccable. Um, hmm. So I like this one and not loving this one. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep playing a little. Again, once I do eyeshadow, a lot of this is gonna like be drowned out and I'm gonna have to go back in and mess with it some more. So those of you who stick with me, props to you. <laughs> because I don't know how long this is actually gonna take. Um, reminds me of watching my sis doing makeup. <laughs> I like, I think I suck at doing makeup. <laughs> I grew up watching my mom, so mom was so good. Um, honestly, like if I could sit there and have someone do my face, that would be awesome. Ah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> All right, let's just leave this alone for now. We have like a decent shape. I'm not crazy about it, but okay. 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 <laughs> um, does anyone know of a Spotify playlist that has copyright-free Arab-sounding music? I want to play you guys my favorite songs, but I can't because I'll end up blocking this video on YouTube if I play something that's um, not worthy of YouTube things. 
Yeah, they're still totally different, but we're going to go with it. We're just going to leave it alone for now. Um, okay, on to the next. All right. How are we doing? Four years old Brazil. Hi, Silva. So nice to meet you guys. Thanks for joining me. That's awesome. Um, would love to see y'all in my classes. We can dance. Breathe. <laughs> Woosa. <laughs> breathing, breathing. Okay. This palette's pretty janky right now because it's broken from traveling. But look at these colors, right? One of my students is so sweet. She gave this to me. I love this palette because we have such awesome colors. So I'm going to go back to my picture. Are you using Hi, Rose. So let's say hi to Rose. Yeah, come on, Rose. So, oh, Rose is in full costume, too. You can, um, do I was you want? I'm just playing around with my wings. You want? Okay, let's say hey to Rose. So I'm staying with this most beautiful woman ever. Her name oh. is Rosanna. And she has a show tonight, also. So she is, her show's earlier, so she's ready. So we're gonna like take a little peek. Oh, Look at how hi. gorgeous she looks. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Rose. So if you come take my classes, you get me and Rose in class. Yes. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Can I borrow the fan bales we're using them tonight? They're, yeah. You are? Okay, never mind then. I'll go use the other ones that I have. Are you sure? Ones. Yeah, he's the one. Okay. Ones. Yeah, we're, we're bet. She's <laughs> letting you borrow her fan bales. If you really want them, you can take them. No. Well, They're I'm blue. Just... You're wearing purple. You're wearing blue. I know. Yeah, so I'll just wear <laughs> <laughs> Okay. She's so sweet. She's letting me borrow. This is her costume also. She's letting me borrow her blue and gold fan bells. whatever. To match, to match this baby. So I'm oh. grateful. All right. Eyes. Here we go. What do you guys think? Should I go ahead and put my lashes on first or should... I put on eyeshadow. <laughs> Let's do eyes and then I'll put lashes on last. I normally do lashes because I'm so bad at it that I feel like I need to go ahead and do it so I don't mess it up. But, all right. One of my little tricks, baby wipe, dirty brush. <laughs> so when I'm playing with colors and if I didn't get a chance to wash my brushes as well as I would like, I just rub it, rub it on that baby wipe, make sure that the color is off so that I can do what I want. And I'm going to start with my lightest color. I think like that's the right way to do it, right? All right, let's see. So we're getting an amber alert right now in, um, in Orlando. All right. So I said I would go with like kind of a silver. These are golds. I'm going to go with kind of like a silver slash blue, really pretty, I'm a mess, I'm dropping my brushes, everything. All right, so we're going to start with the light color. Ooh, okay. I didn't bring my full bottle of primer because I'm out of town right now, so I'm going to use this photo finish primer. It's for foundation, but... I've been using it for my eye makeup and it's helped so much. And I'm just going to use my finger and like put it on my lid. And it's kind of moist and soft. And I'm going to use a little under my eye also. And what this is going to do, or what I think it does, <laughs> is it keeps your eye makeup on and makes it a little bit more vibrant. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with a softer, a softer shade first. So I'm gonna get like that silvery, shimmery on the lid, on the lid, on the upper lid. Okay, that primer is still a little wet, that's okay. And same with the other side. Okay. These eyebrows need some work also. So I've always had kind of thin eyebrows, I feel like, and over the pandemic, I decided to grow them out and 
and I'm pretty happy with the way they look. I barely have touched them since March. So March, I think I've plucked like just a few right here, but I'm trying to grow them out to have those bushy Arab um, eyebrows that I just wasn't really born with. <laughs> Let's grow those babies out. I love putting a little bit of light like right here in the cornea, like the, the um, is that your cornea? Am I making words up? Right here in the corners. We'll just go with the word corners. We know that's real. All right. I'm going to put more of a creamy color at the top. Okay. A little bit more creamy, creamy, creamy. All right. Frightening. Let's keep going. So I have this like really awesome silver. Okay. So the silver right here. We're going to use the silver. And this palette is like some Aurora Lights Cosmetics. It's nothing, it's really nothing magical. I have what I have with me, but I really like, I do like this palette. The colors are really bold. So it's kind of nice for um, doing like a bold makeup. And we're gonna go with that silver across the lid. Okay. Nice. So silver across the lid. And then the other side. I hope you guys have like a glass of wine or something, some music on. There's no way that I'm possibly entertaining at the moment. Um, I like laugh at my mom for watching makeup tutorials. I get bored in like two seconds. I just like, I don't know. I'm not your average chick. <laughs> I'm not that interested in and makeup but it is really it's so fun to be it's almost as if I still get to play dress up and do what I absolutely love I absolutely love the art of belly dance and performing honestly in itself is is my favorite <gasps> hi babe you want to say hello I so said we have a little visitor come here come here okay sorry guys Wee does not want to say hello he said goodbye um, Rose's little little puppy is <laughs> the cutest, <laughs> but he doesn't like me very much, I don't think. All right, so now we're going to get into blue. So I have a nice smoky blue. We're going to take like a really bright blue and a smoky blue. So this has some flashes of like a lighter, brighter blue, and blue is nice with red, so we're not definitely not going to go red. The lips, the lips will be the red. Kiwi almost said hi, but then he didn't. Do we have the same? Um, yeah, come say here. You guys got to see Peewee. Come bring Peewee in. I know she's battling through um, lights and all kinds of things. So this here's Peewee. <laughs> Look at Peewee. Say hi. Want to hold him? No, he's like. Yeah, well, I don't think he'll chill with me, but. So this is Peewee. Kiwi immediately goes to his back and then just wants his little belly rub. Okay. Here's okay. baby. <laughs> Come here, baby. Okay. okay, let's keep going. Making sure I'm not tripping over anything. <laughs> this is going fantastic. How many people are actually watching? Wow. Thanks, guys. Love it. <laughs> okay. So we have our darker blue. Let me show you. So we're going to go with this blue right here and then I'm going to highlight with this bright blue. Um, I was having a little trouble deciding between gold and silver but because I'm ending in this costume I'm going to go with silver. I don't think the audience will notice too much. So we're going to go in with the blue only the back half of the eye. So I'm not going to touch the front half at all. When I blend is when I can add a little. So up here I'm going to follow this curve of my eye and I'm going to take it out a little and now that eyeliner I originally had is basically gone. So once we do lashes, we can do another coat of eyeliner. Now you have to be careful with blue because you don't want to look like you got a black eye, which right now kind of looks like I have a black eye. So let's figure this out. So I'm kind of out here on the outside. 
probably not good that I like pull my skin like that. Am I gonna get wrinkles from doing that? Okay. And we don't wanna go too far in. I wish you guys could see my face a little better. I don't know if this light is the greatest. Okay. What if we go like that? No, definitely not. <laughs> Okay. Cool. All right. I don't want to do much more of that blue quite yet. So, since you tell me to breathe in class. Thanks, Angel. Angel knows I'm not this, like, high strung. So, she's like, breathe, Janelle. Breathe. Okay. All right. Making sure we get anything off that we don't want. Mm, I like, I'm see, I'm loving the shape of this one, still not liking that one. All right, we're gonna go back in with that bright silver with a clean brush. Mm. And a little bit of like more of a white, a white and a silver so that we get a nice light color, making sure we're keeping it light towards the front. We want to open up the eye. That's something I think an, a makeup artist would say, like keep it light towards this front so that we open the eye up and then you have the darker towards the back. <laughs> I'm trying to take myself seriously, but you guys, when I do my makeup, I just joke the whole time because I genuinely like you have to learn how to do so much in this world. If you're a dancer, you have to learn how to edit. You have to learn how to be socially, like social media person. You have to learn how to <laughs> make content. You have to learn how to build a website. You have to learn how to do your own makeup because you trying to go out and make money performing. So you definitely don't want to like, you know, pay a professional to do what they should be doing for you. So until you get to that magical point in life where you can hire someone to do this, here I am doing my makeup the best I can. Ooh, they still look very different. <laughs> I still like this one more. Okay, it's okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Things are changing. We're getting there. All right. Ooh. Mm. Okay. No, Josie. Go, Josie. Josie's a big dog. Josie just came in. She's chilling. She smells like a puppy. Do you guys like dogs? I'm a little bit dog biased. I like kind of like dogs, but I don't like everybody's dog. You know what I mean? Is that mean? All right, let's get a little makeup on this face to actually see what is happening with these eyes because it's hard for me to tell. I want to lift some of that glitter up. We're going to go back in with that concealer because I probably have wiped the majority of it up. Um, I think that's a little too dark for me, so I'm going to go in with the, the lighter color. Okay. Okay. Let's work this into the face. Okay. And this one. I kind of feel like a peacock right now, a little. All right. Now for some makeup makeup on my face. So we have that blue, woo, those blue eyes happening. I like to do my brow, my brow last. Um, again, lashes, I kind of, I would have already liked to do my lashes, but I'm afraid it's gonna take me so long that we're gonna wait so that I don't um, overdo it. Back with the tongue again. 
This one needs more, oh shoot. I just dipped into hot pink, so we have to clean my brush again. Let me see, what are you guys saying? Anything, nothing? Yeah. What else do y'all wanna know? <laughs> anything? Anything, anything? Let's see, what am I teaching in class this week? So this week we're gonna be working on traveling, not traveling, we're gonna be working on turns, so turns and spins in Technique Tuesday. So if you need help with your turning and your spinning, that's what we're gonna focus on a little. And then we're gonna work on, beginner class is always a blast. So if you've never taken class from me, that's definitely a class to just like jump into and enjoy and everyone in there is just living their life, which is so nice. And then who um, took master class with me yesterday? Did any of you guys take my shabby, my shabby master class? We had so much fun. I had so, I had so much fun in that class. So I hope you did too, if you, if you joined me. All right, back to my favorite brush. Now, currently, I'm using Becca makeup. I like Sephora. I like, I love this L'Oreal um, Pro Glow, but I use 280. This is 209. This is a little bit dark for me right now. I'm not terribly, I'm tan, but not crazy tan. So, we have some on my brush. I'm gonna pat, pat, pat. Get it into my cheeks first, the heaviest. I feel like if you're breaking out and you put too much makeup on, you can really see it. So I'm not, I'm, we're definitely gonna add some layers of different things, but I'm not breaking out too bad. Just enough that I see it for sure. Um, so I like, I love this, like for everyday wear, like just a teeny bit is really nice. You kind of have a good eye base going on. Eyes are the hardest. Like, do your, do your face how you like to do your face, you know what I mean? So, all right, we got that going on. And let's see. Let's just, like, clip this mop up a little. I don't want to do too much with it. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. And I go down the neck down all the way down so seeing a line here not cute daytime nighttime performing if you like to do your face a little darker like that's okay but just like make sure you get down the neck little ears okay now i am going to go in with this uh 209 invaluable um l'oreal paris i'm literally just gonna like boop and boop right on the cheek you can see how much darker that is. This is me pretending to contour. All right, so I like a little darker on that cheek. And then keeping the under eye nice and light. And then the little jawbone right here. And then up above the forehead right here. All right, I'm gonna let this soak into my skin before I mess with this anymore. And I want to stay, keep it moist, but we've got to obviously powder it up and get rid of um, a lot of the moisture. So let me let that do its thing. And we're going to put some lashes on while we, some lashes and we're going to fix this eyeliner and these eyebrows. Okay. So I think eyebrows last so I don't bump them and make them ugly. Yes, I took the master class. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, love. I'm so glad. Okay, we have this fun guy that we're going to use later. And it's like bright and shimmery. And it's so fun. Okay. I kind of wish we lived in a world where makeup wasn't like a thing. You know? Does anyone else feel like that? Oh gosh. So I don't have all my brushes with me. I'm out of town as mentioned. It is a little harder for me to 
to do this quickly. I'm gonna take this really bright, bright blue and I'm gonna put a little bit right under the eye in that corner. And a little bit right here. Okay. A little blue there. Uh, I think we'll keep that there. I kind of like it. And if you don't like something, just get rid of it, you know? Like, who cares? Okay. Cool. So we've added just like a little bit of like a whoop. That's what we're going to call it. A whoop. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <sighs> Lashes. Let's do this. So I have some cheap freaking lashes. Yeah, these are like super cheap pro beauty essentials. There's like one, two, three, five pairs of lashes for like $6 TJ Maxx, like honestly the best. But Rose did just give me a brand new pair of lashes. So I told her I would use the good ones. I don't love lashes. Like these are massive, but this is what we're gonna use tonight. <laughs> so let's do it. So she just gave me these lashes. They're premium synthetic lashes. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna use these babies. Let's see what they do for me. Wow, we've already been going for almost 40 minutes. I hope again, like drink wine. Um, the more questions you ask me, the more I'll share. You know what I'm saying? All right, I have this glue duo. I actually really like this glue. Um, anytime I've had to wear lashes, this is one of my favorites. It's kind of a little bit more glassy and it's nice. Normally I will trim my lashes, but I don't have a pair of scissors near me at the moment. So we're gonna um, not trim. I don't trim like the length, but if it's too long, like I'll trim. So what I like to do is just like first take the lash and Let's skip this commercial on our music. So no one wants to hear commercials. And I'm, I'm gonna like set it here and kind of see like where it lays. Like if I can put it on like that with the glue, I'm gonna be so happy. So these are pretty cool. Oh, there's a big line right there that we need to fix in my, my face. So we'll fix. Let's soften that up a little. We'll soften that up in a bit. Okay, so we do need to brush the, the shadow out a little, but I like to finish and then I like to like soften things and, and fix and edit. Um, I like to go bold and then bring it down. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put my glue on. The song is really annoying. It's like dubstep Arabic something. That's what I get for copyright free music. It's giving me anxiety. Let's see. How do we next you? <laughs> I'm sorry, friend, whoever song this is over here saying how much I don't like it. All right, here we go, next. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm gonna have to like, give me a second. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, kind of getting there. Woo, that eye is watering. Okay, and here we need this guy. Okay, I don't hate it. Oh baby. So I like to take the lash like a little bit away from my, um, the teeniest bit away from my actual lash line so it swoops up a little. And then this one I definitely do hug like around my natural curvature of my eye. 
So like I'm pretty happy with that. Like I can feel them hitting my um up here, but it's cool. Okay. Like who actually likes lashes? You know? I guess I could get like permanent fake ones, but I don't I don't think I'm into that. Alright, we're gonna soften up this brow. It's a little a little much. Okay. It's a little too much going on. Alright, I'm starting to like this eye. Definitely. And let's keep going. Alright, let's get this other eyelash on and honestly there's really not that much left like we can wrap this up pretty quickly okay glue so tell me how do y'all decide um like those of you who need makeup makeup tips i want to show you guys how i do my actual face because it is very unconventional i'm not gonna lie I think it is like I think the Sephora store was like that's not how you contour and I was like yeah I'm aware but like that's what I like so I think it's a matter of finding what you like to do and what works for your face and if it looks good then why not you know all right here we go lash number two stress ball change okay not so bad I wonder if my mom is watching. And this is not going good, guys. This one is not sticking. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay. Yeah, we might have to take this one off and start over. Okay, I think that's like as good as we're getting with that one. All right, I'm not mad about it. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> All right, let's do this face. Let's just get the rest of this face done. Make sure I have no blue. All right, here we go. I take my fake brush. Uh, we'll go. We'll go light first. Um, I'm gonna do like a translucent, more lighter, whiter powder. So this is um, fair, and it's fair minerals. So I tap, tap, tap this lighter powder under my eyes. Okay, here we go. Tap, tap, tap my chin, my lip. And right here at the center of my forehead. Okay. And then, where are my babies? Using Nothing. No, use whatever you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't touched them. Yeah, take them. Take them, girl. I prefer, so we're just talking about dance shoes. Um, I have lots of different dance shoes. I like to be barefoot. I like to feel the floor. And I know that's disgusting because these restaurants and things sometimes are really gross. But, like, I don't know. I just, I have to feel the floor, feel grounded and earthy and, like, in the pocket. So when I dance with a band... I prefer to dance barefoot. So I do, I will, I always will bring my heels just in case if the floor is like rough or maybe it's like, you never know. I've got a darker, a little bit of a darker shade, matte tan, Sephora. I'm gonna go over my cheeks, brush over my forehead. Oh, I did forget one of my favorite products, but it's too late for that. Um, I like to do, where is it? Hmm. 
this guy. It's like um like a milk. It's like glisteny, but we'll put it on the outside so it's fine. But this is nice to go underneath sometimes. It glistens through the powders. So this just takes away that shine. I got the chin. Go down the neck a little. Okay. Ooh, so we're starting to look like the color of my body, which is good. <laughs> my nose, the sides of my nose, contour that a little. All right, again, very unconventional, unconventional contouring over here. And then this brush, <laughs> love this brush. Yes, right here. And I have Bliss. I love this Bliss. This is my empty one. I have one that's a little bit more full, but I will use it till it's gone. It says, hey, sunshine. This is Bliss. This one I do really like. Right there. Up on that cheekbone. Up on the hairline. And we'll, we'll rub that in some more, but I'm gonna keep it as is for the moment. Draw my line, get it where I want it. Hairline, deep in the hairline. So to make sure you don't get it too much on your forehead. And then jawbone. <laughs> wow, this copyright free music is like not giving me life. <laughs> Okay. All right, boom. Sometimes I get a little too high up there. You just take that lighter color and you make sure you brush it away. All right, cool. So we have some eyes going. Most of the face, I need a little bit of blush and I need some highlighter and a lip. Let's see. Let's get with this lip, but I have some chapstick on, so I need to take it off first. I love some good chapstick. So let's take it off. Totally just messed up the makeup. Okay. All right. Chanel. This I will stand by. I love my Chanel. Ah, uh, thanks. Hi, gorgeous. See, I'm starting to feel more myself now. <laughs> I can't believe I came on here with a bare face. Look at you guys. My mom's been begging me to do this, and I'm like, I don't know what to do, or what am I gonna say? So, literally, as you can tell, I've been rambling to myself. Now, I would like, I want Ch Chanel sponsor me. No one sponsors me. I don't have any makeup sponsors, whatever. That's okay, I don't need that. Uh, oh man, I messed that one up. I would love it if I had my lip liner with me, but I forgot it. So I do like to use like, a little bit of a darker lip liner, it's so nice. Um, but when I perform, I don't want to get lipstick on my veils or my costumes. So this Chanel is awesome. You let it dry. We got to fix this lip a little bit better. Give me that little peaky peak. Let's see. Okay. One. And two. Q-tip magic, where are you? Hmm, here we go. I love that you guys are hanging out with me. Thanks so much. I have you know. Oh gosh, here I go now. Rubbing my face with sparkly fingers and this is no good. Well, let me wipe up these hands. 
I just got some gold glitter on the top of my lip. Okay. We gotta get rid of that. I don't even know where that came from. Oh no! Alright. <laughs> okay. So what's great about this Chanel is that it's it what am I trying to say? It has a gloss on the other end that I love. So when I'm performing, I can use that gloss and if it sticks to something, it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter. Uh, note to self, don't do your lipstick and talk at the same time because you're really bad at it. So I don't know if we're gonna keep this video up on my channel. I don't ever rewatch. Like if I do a live, I don't rewatch it. <laughs> Cause it's usually a little frightening. And I don't like to hear myself speak. Does anyone else feel that way? You know when you like set your answering machine up? Okay. Mm. There's something funky going on with these lips. Okay. I like to have, like I mentioned, like my face like this when I'm doing my makeup. You know what? I'm pretty happy with these eyes. They're not that bad. I didn't do too bad. I'm okay with it. I gotta clean up this one a little. Soften up the... It's a little dark in this one spot. And if we can soften that up... I think I will like it much better. So soften it there. Yeah. Thanks guys for hanging with me. Um, yes, you know how much I love ta talking in class. <laughs> I always tell my students, I'm like, guys, can you talk, can you talk to me? Like I miss teaching in person so much, I can't even handle it. Like I'm very hands-on. Um, I like, you know, I like to feel connected to my students. I like to actually like, you know, like give personal feedback. And it's so hard with Zoom, so I have like big monitors so I can see it. I thrive on, but like I enjoy so much, so it's, it's difficult. All right, let's add some gloss to these lips. Okay, and then I want to play with these eyebrows for just a second. I think that'll be our last step for, for live and then we'll, we'll go away. Um, what did I do with it? That's my first question. So the same thing that I used for my, um, let's see, what I used for my eyeliner. So the Bobbi Brown. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that really lightly on the brush and I use the back of the um, the inside to kind of open it up. And we're just gonna start going up with the eyebrow. So just drawing my natural eyebrow. Not too dark, just giving it some shape. Like I said, I'm growing them in, so they're a little wonky right now. They're not perfect. Eyebrows aren't supposed to be perfect. Your face is not symmetrical. Shocker. Um, that's okay. I think the more you do your makeup, you learn how unsymmetrical your face is. <laughs> um, these little hairs are kind of light right here. We don't want to do too much. So just soft. So I didn't do a lot. So that's my natural brow. This is just a little bit enhanced, yeah? Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Erica. Um, and then let's go in with the other. This is so fun. I hate doing my makeup like all by myself. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I could hear your comments and like, you know, the ones you make to yourself and you're like, oh my God, what is she doing? Like that for me would be really entertaining. Because <laughs> I probably would agree with you 
a hundred percent. I'm not claiming I know what I'm doing, so please know that. Um, some of the, some of the comments I get on YouTube sometimes are just like, like absurd. I'm like, wow. But I know if you're here watching me right now, you're you're a nice person. <laughs> not one of the mean. Not one of the mean ones. Okay, I think I went overboard on this one. I do like the curve in this one, but like what's happening here? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. Maybe a real makeup artist will see this and they'll give me a lesson. Let's see. Back to that dubstep Arabic music. I'm just not into it, I guess. So I challenge someone to send me a good copyright free playlist um, for when I do things like this, because it would be nice to have some tunes on. Okay. I'm just kind of brushing my little babes upward. And I love this. I discovered this actually discovered aka stole from my mom mm. this uh, 24 hour brow setter did you guys know there's a brow setter <laughs> what? so whatever works it's working for you thank you <laughs> yeah like whatever works for your face works for you I promise I'm actually, I was so nervous to do this video because I will dance for you all day long, but to sit here and talk to you um, and the hope that I do a good job with my makeup is frightening. So here I am getting out of my comfort zone. Okay. I like it when they like are a little like, you know, bristly at the top. Bristly. Ooh, okay. How we doing, friends? Do we like so far? All right, I have my cute little brush. I'm gonna use my favorite Estee Lauder. Um, this is my <laughs> my favorite. It's basically empty. <laughs> Um, I use this every day. This is my everyday color. And then I love the little, the light color next to it. I don't use it as often. But we're gonna go right on the cheeky, right, right on the little cheek cheek. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Get a little color in my little rosy cheeks. Okay. And our other one. So I always say smile and then hang your cheek on. <laughs> your little cheek. Okay. Um, I feel a little chubby, so we're gonna like, not chubby, but you know what I mean, like I got some cheeks. So we're gonna contour that up a little. All right, before we do that, favorite highlighter. Highlighter Everglow. Um, this guy right here. Love, love, love. And this is my favorite little highlighter brush. So I'm gonna go with the light one, straight down my nose, Doop, just like that. The little bit of a darker one right here. Look at that highlighter. Oh yes, look at that in the light. So pretty. Okay, and then up here, the teensy bit, all right. And hop on my lap and my chin. I don't know why I do my chin. And then we're gonna just like go in more with the chest. <laughs> so fun. Oh, we gotta add the um, the eyeliner. So we wanna refine our points and go straight up. Okay, and now I gotta get a little, let's see if I can do it right here. I'm like, I can't do this from far away. I will mess everything up. 
I'm sorry this is taking me so long, guys. Who knew? Um... Does anyone else make really funny faces when you're doing things? I'm like, <laughs> I like thought about it. I was like, how do I stay cute while I do my makeup? You just can't, you just can't, you just do it. It is what it is. Okay, let's cover up that fake lash line a little. Let's get down in here a little. Now this, now I'm using more of like a liquid liner because it's a little hard to go in with a brush. You need something a little bit stronger. So let's see. Let me put you right here and maybe this will look a little better. You're in my sink. All right. So here we go. This is what we're working with for now. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Mm, this eye is a little red. I like to do like, you know, you can just take like a normal eye drop or something because sometimes all these glitters and it'll get in your eyes and you need to find a way to brighten up. I'm gonna go a little higher with that. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. I like, Okay, I hope I have a great show tonight. I'm so lucky to get to perform. I feel incredibly grateful. I, I love to perform. It is truly my passion. I've been so lucky to be able to teach too. Like, wow, I can't even begin. Like, what would I do? <laughs> I would cook for you. That's what I would do. Um, so I've thought about doing a like cooking, cooking with Janelle. <laughs> I like to make Arabic food. I like to make stuffed squash and grape leaves and um, lots of salads. Um, what else do we cook? So uh, sadly right now, like I wouldn't do my makeup this early normally. Um, my show is not until my first show is not until 11 p.m. tonight. Like, oh, so I'm gonna be sitting in this for a little bit before we get to that point, which is fine. I'm actually gonna dab dab a little bit of, I got a little bit of red makeup here, so we're gonna try to smooth that away. And I think that's it, y'all. Like, thank you for hanging out. I'll try to take um, some pictures, change that cover photo. Don't love cooking, love eating. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I like to eat too. Love to eat. I live to eat. That's like the conversation. The the conversation of like every moment is <laughs> where as we're eating breakfast, we're like, what are we what are we eating? <laughs> what are we eating for lunch? <laughs> What are we eating for dinner? What are we cooking? I think it's a great way just to like share time together with anybody really is in the kitchen. It's so, it's, it's so lovely. So, all right. I think that's it friends. Like we got the lip, we have my hair. This is just my naturally curly hair. Um, there's a little bit of like living proof styling cream. So let's put I like to bring this with me on the job. So that's what I wanna talk about last. Um, I like to bring this, like a styling cream with me on the job and sometimes like, let's say I'm doing a 15, 20 minute set and I know that I have like a 20 minute break or maybe I do a costume change, like tonight we're doing a costume change. 
So if I feel like it, I'll change jewelry. Usually not, not a big deal. But to refresh my hair, I'll put a little bit in my hands like I just did and I'll refresh it. Another tip I have is spraying a good perfume in my veil. It's gonna like whisk through the room and they're gonna, I'm gonna come by and smell like a yummy flower. Um, and then real quick together, we're gonna pack my to-go bag. So I bring a little bag with me and this is just like your, your, your little things. Mints you like get nauseous after you dance a lot sometimes a mint is like that little bit of peppermint in your belly is great um, I have this tiny little jar of makeup so just in case someone kisses me on the cheek which they like to do or maybe I do something and I get a lick of makeup across my face whatever if I need to cover that baby up I have something with me really easy now this is my favorite thing if I know where it is um i have it out for you guys but i've just created a massive mess over here okay so this is awesome this is what i love to have in my makeup bag maybe i'll do just i might do just like this this separate thing for you guys later so it's not after a long ridiculous makeup tutorial but this little guy right here okay boom 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 like amazing check your lips check your eyes done it gives you that stage makeup light so that you know what you look like check your teeth all right well can't close that now so whatever all right let's turn you off and it has this little soft case so this goes into my makeup bag um, backstage sometimes you're in a bathroom sometimes you're in some like random back office space like as long as i'm somewhere safe and my things are taken care of like i could care less where i am backstage it doesn't matter um i like to bring this elf right here so elf it is white yeah but this elf look we're gonna just use a little bit of this like hd powder you coat your whole face in this elf and you're gonna lose that like sweaty sheen so i'll dab dab bring you know paper towel whatever dab my sweat girlfriend sweat i sweat when i dance so this elf will give you that freshness you need and if you for some reason like do too much depending on where i am this makeup bag has like a little slot for like some brushes so i'll bring you know here's a little a little brush i'll bring like maybe this guy or maybe just this one. This one has a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. Really simple. Nothing, you don't need a lot of stuff with you. Half the time you won't use it, right? You really don't need it. So just a few things to make sure that you have what you need. Oh, and glitter. We love glitter. So I will glitter up my collarbone um, sometimes I'll contour in between just a little, you know, I'm not as well endowed. Um, I like to glitter my belly a little bit is nice and yeah, cool. I think we're good. If you do have like a little blemish, like I have a little one right here that's kind of like gets, you know, that like when you have like a blemish and it's like, eh, you can, oh, your lipstick. Don't forget your lipstick. Bring your lipstick. My last step, I forgot. So I sweat, right? Sometimes my eyes will cry. <laughs> Waterproof mascara. We're gonna go one coat under to the fake lash and up. This will connect your real lash to the fake lash and will lift your eye. And if your eyes cry, like mine do sometimes, then you won't have to worry about having black eyeliner or mascara running down your face. Okay, that's it. We are done. Wow, that was um, a lot. Just kidding, I lied, one more thing. 
This is a um, Urban Decay Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is a god right here. This is a goddess. This is amazing because you can just put this on and you're gonna have a much better situation after you've danced for 30 minutes. I do shows sometimes that are an hour long, like it's insane. I'll dance for 25 minutes, I'll leave for 10 minutes, I'll dance for another 25 minutes, and I look like my body is melting, but this face will stay, which is great. You never wanna look like you're droopy after a show. So it's good, bring baby wipes, um, make sure you pack a little bit of makeup, um, sometimes I bring props, I don't use them all the time, it depends. Have backup music just in case, you never know if you're gonna need that extra music. Be kind to your musicians, be kind to who, you know, pay attention to your audience, spatial awareness when you're performing. You never ever wanna like knock something over, especially with using props and like for me, I'm, if I'm so privileged enough to be able to work with a band and I'm being tipped very, very well, I will make sure I talk with the owner or the band and if they were not tipped separately, I will give some of mine to the band because they are making me be amazing, right? I, when I get to dance with a band, like it's like the best. This big brush right here, I would normally do before I sprayed, but we forgot. But I like to just like make sure everything is smooth brush out the, the chin a little, make sure everything is nice and soft. So you guys, I'll still be playing with makeup, I'm sure. Here's some glitter. We can add a little more glitter across the eye. And now we're officially done. All right. A little point. Okay, so let's change the lighting a little bit so you can see this face. Let's see what we got, what we're working with. So, oh, this looks much better up here. There we go. So hopefully this will look really nice with this blue costume. And we'll look really nice with our red costume. So thanks, loves. Thank you so much for joining me. That's so awesome. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Have a great night or whatever time it is for you. And I hope I see you in class. <laughs>